Hey, what's up, guys? Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of uh, BMNG. Um, I was going to say GTA 5 for some reason. Does not look like GTA 5 at all. But my brain was like, duh, it's got a vehicle. GTA 5, that's what it is. Um, you might be you might be asking yourself, Spears, what is on the side of that, that stock truck? Um, well, those are um, Buzz Lightyear jets. Uh, just taking off Buzz Lightyear himself. Um, it's actually the Buzz Lightyear, <coughs> Buzz Lightyear mobile. That was a tongue twister for a second. I was like, Buzz, Light <coughs> Buzz Lightyear mobile. That's what it is. Anyways, you hit E, and it's it's literally... <laughs> it's literally you becoming one with a fucking tree. Like, that's... Talk about becoming one with nature. Um, now, I've been playing around with this for a little bit, and I've been trying to grab the front of it and hit E, and then make sure I lift the front of it up, but I keep getting the hood. And <laughs> the hood doesn't want to doesn't wanna play around. The hood's like, listen, I'm going to open... Up. What the... You know, sometimes my burps just want to make a cameo. <laughs> Every once in a while. They're like, hey, wait, let me in the video. It's like, no, please, it's inappropriate. Excuse me, by the way. I'm very sorry about that. You guys want to see a Hellcat simulator when it accelerates? Check it out. Watch those. You ready? Three, two, one. And... And we are. And we are. Yep. 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 It's about the same. It's about... It's about right, right? Hit that like button if you're excited for the Hellcat. I keep talking about it, man. Two days. Well, it's not two days. Probably three days. I don't know. They say the 14th. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be before the 14th. Post a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope I get it before a million. Um, but it's like a race right now. It's like a... It's like... I, I want both at the same time. But then, like, I want to get the Hellcat so I can break it in. And then do a dirty fucking burnout. I, got, I went really Canadian right there. Dirty fucking burnout, bud. But uh, I, just, I just want the dirtiest burnout you've ever seen in your life. I wonder... I wonder if I can... Hold on a second. Wait, let me let me control or alt e this. I wonder if this frame. Oh, it's just a standard frame. Okay, never mind. What about the bed? Is it Oh, there's a bed. Yes. Rocket bed. No fucking way. I have an idea. You know, it's actually really good. Dr. Pepper is all right. I haven't had it in a long time, but um it's it's pretty good. Hey, it's pretty good. Oh, rocket bed. Come on. Good. That didn't work, but let's see if no. It it does not like the rocket bed. All right. Um let me try it again. Maybe I just misclicked. I don't know. Um, frame, bed, rocket bed. Nope, definitely. Oop, left rocket, adjustable left, insane left rocket. That's what I want. Please work. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Insane. Yes. I cannot believe this worked. Now we've got an amazing off road vehicle. Like, it's, I mean, it's not amazing, amazing, but it's pretty sick with rockets on the side of it. Look at this. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Like, uh, it's so much better than the stock one, honestly, just because the stock one is so plain looking. This kind of looks like it's the, uh, the truck from Back to the Future, which is sick, like that Toyota. Um, it wasn't a Tacoma, I don't think, was it? Yeah, I think it might have been. I'm not too sure. Well, it's you know, I know it was like an 88, whatever it was. I wanted to buy one of them, but you literally can't find them anywhere around here, and it's depressing. And if you do find them, they're all covered in rust. Oh my god. Hold on a second, can I open stuff? Look at this! What? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that from inside the vehicle, that's pretty cool. Alright, sweet, what did I hit? I hit an invisible rock. I hate when that happens. You really do. Um, I'm really liking this new map, though. It's actually amazing. Um, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't add it sooner. It's not like it would have taken them forever to build this, right? Like, BeamNG's been around for a long time. I've been making videos on BeamNG for at least three years now. Something like that. And a lot of people have found my videos, actually, through BeamNG, so it's, it's amazing. And I'm always going to be playing BeamNG. Like, I, it's like, kind of like GTA. Like, I don't really get bored of GTA, but I kind of do at the same time. So, like, I'll take breaks from them. But they'll always come back, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'll take a break from GTA just because all the mods are so, so good. Like, the superhero mods that are coming out and, um, and everything else. Um, like, the map mods and everything. But with Beam and G, I'm just starting to get into modding, really. Like, with the maps and all the vehicles and stuff. Like, I normally, I used to just get in and drive. Like, I wouldn't really mod the game too much. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's still going. It's still going. See, the rockets don't give a shit. They're Buzz Lightyear rockets. They'll, they'll take a beating, you know? They'll take a beating and keep going back. I kind of want to take this thing off-roading and then use the jets when I'm going over- Oh, fuck off. Really? When I'm going over, like, a huge bump or something? That'd be so cool. Hold on. It'd just get massive air and then land it and actually drive away. Right? Wouldn't that be sick? I don't know. Maybe. I tried downloading another off-roading truck mod and, um, it didn't work. It, like, broke my game, basically. The wheels don't work on it for some reason. Whatever reason that would be. Like, some- there's so many things I wish I was better at, like, with modding and, like, in general. 
Like, I wish I was a doctor sometimes, so if I coughed a certain way, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's this. Or a mechanic, like, if my engine made a weird sound, I'd be like, oh, that, don't worry, that was just the flangular mephobolo, mephobolo valve in the cylinder 18 and a half. What does any of that mean? I don't know. I really don't, you know. Try my hardest here. <laughs> But, uh, I'm good at talking, so that's- that's good, right? That's good enough. I mean, some people aren't good at talking. I can do that. I can- I mean, a lot. I do it a lot. You know, like, in my- in my most popular videos, like, I'll get- th there's a little bit of hate just because I talk so much, but, like, my- my- my, um, comeback to that is, like, what- would you just like me not to talk and- and just play the game? Like, I don't- that's not- that doesn't add anything. Like, this is boring. Like, you could just play the game yourself. You know, like, people want, like, another personality, I think, in the game. And if you guys are, are trying to make YouTube videos or anything like that, just, just be yourself. Like, I'm literally myself. <laughs> like, some YouTubers have to put on, like, a persona or, or, like, um, um, like an act. I just speak a little more clearly. And that's it, really. You can ask anybody. I'm pretty much the same in real life. Maybe a little less awkward here, though. I'm kind of awkward in real life. Sometimes. I hate awkward silences, but, like, once they happen, I'm like, oh, I can't stop it! Stop the awkward silence. I need to find like a sweet jump. You ever take the thing off any sweet jumps? You're just mad that I've been online chatting to babes all day. La Fonda. Shit's my savior. Holy fuck. Well, you know what? There's some people that might not know what Napoleon Dynamite is, and I just sound like a complete idiot. And to those people, I'm sorry. And Napoleon Dynamite was a movie. If you think I'm weird, you know, hey. <laughs> Whatever. Maya, do you think I'm weird? No, she's sleeping. She doesn't think I'm weird. Oh my god. I almost lost the wheel on that one. I think my blood pressure's up. I was just playing a game that makes me really angry and like actually like <laughs> puts my blood pressure up, but I still play it. Like I'm like a glutton for punishment. I'm like, I love playing games that make me angry. It's so good. Um, and I spent a lot of money on it. It's Counter-Strike, all right? Don't play it. Don't play it. It's so angering. Uh, I mean, any game that's competitive angers me. Oh my god, what the fuck? Here we go. Damage report, damage report. Damage report. Um, I've got a new shirt design that I kind of want to show you guys. Um, if you go check out my Twitter, it's at Not Spears. Um, I'm, I do giveaways with, uh, Karambits on there as well. Um, so if you guys, you've probably heard about those. Um, as long as you just, you know, like my videos here and there, and, um, when I enter to do the giveaway, oh wow, that tree was on fire. When I enter to do the giveaway, um, like, when I'm like, oh yeah, like and retweet this tweet. The reason I do that is just because, like, I put the, the link into a random tweet, like, retweet picker, and it picks some random retweet. And then I look at the person's profile, and I'm like, are they just entering it to enter it, or are they, like, do they actually watch my videos? And most of the time, everybody watches my videos, but you get people here and there that just enter to enter. So I'm trying to get back to the people who watch my videos with these, like, karambit giveaways, not just random people. So if you actually watch my videos and stuff, then you've got a really high chance to, uh, to win one. But if you're just, like, entering to enter, it's like, eh, you know. Like, that's cool, but it's like, I- You guys have given me so much that I actually watch my videos that I- I, I want to give back to you. Um, and like I said, they're sending me more knives, so that means more giveaways. I'm literally gonna keep one knife for myself, that's it. And I'm giving the rest away. I've got like five more left, I think, to give away. I just mailed out two. Um, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. And oh, my fuck. What- how fast was that? I don't even- Hold on, I wanna go to that straight away again. I gotta- I gotta go in the cockpit view though. Here we go. Here we go. I actually saw a B5 Blue Challenger the other day. And, um, it wasn't a Hellcat or anything like that, but it looked good, boys, I'll tell you what. Um, and the weather's gonna be really nice for the next, like, week, so I'm, I'm really hoping that it comes in. Cause that'd be great video making weather. Oh my god, we're going 240. Oh, that's the fastest th this thing will ever go in its entire life. Like, no joke. Straight up. You know what I- oh god, you know what I think YouTube should implement? Like, GIF thumbnails. Like, I know that's- that's weird and off topic, but I was just thinking about it. Like, if you hover over, like, um, uh, a video or something, and they had, like, a GIF thumbnail where it's, like, moving, That'd be cool, because you'd be like, oh my god, that's a clip from the video, that looks so sweet, I'm gonna click on that video. I think that'd be cool. It's probably gonna be implemented at some point, but... I've always thought about that for YouTube, I mean, even when I only had like 4,000 subscribers, I was like, man, that'd be cool, you know, that'd be cool, damn it. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I like how the front end goes down. Oh. My. Fuck. In damage report. What the f <laughs> Still spinning. The rockets are now becoming helicopter blades. They're just elongating. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna cr we're gonna cry. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna cry. We're gonna try the jet truck on a, um, a, a pure grid map here. So, we're gonna max it out just by, you know, regular old engine here. The old slow fucking 4.3 liter V8 or whatever the hell's in this thing. Getting up to a brisk 70 miles an hour in 18 minutes flat. So I'm- I'm thinking that's about as good as it's gonna get, about 90 miles an hour, and then hit the E button, and... 
There's 230, 240, and just spins the fuck out. Oh my god, we got traction again. Sort of, just kidding, no traction. I like how the suspension is still holding up. Almost 300 right there. That's pretty good. Okay, now we're going in the negatives. Nope, now we're back in the positives. Alright, let's try and get control of this bitch real quick. Hold on. Let me get control here. There we are. There we are. This is like a 1680 we did back there. Alright, you ready? And down again. Hold on, 186. 230, 260, 300, there we go, and the wheels have literally, <laughs> they've gone to another dimension. Um, they're actually in Star Trek right now. They're cameoing in Star Trek. <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? That was a real laugh. Like, the first one, the first, like, <laughs> but then, you know, the, the other, the other couple were just more like making up for how stupid I sounded. That happens a lot, you know, every once in a while. Oh, let me pick the front up and not let it- oh shit, not let it- oh shit. Oh my god. Not let it sag down like it does- oh fuck. Alright. What am I doing? Hold on. Not let it sag down like it does. Alright, you ready? Here we go. Hold on. Let me pick this. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna pick it up. We gotta keep it level. Holy shit. There we go. There's 305. We're still going, and it's flipping over. Alright, there's a ramp that we're gonna try and hit. It's a really small ramp. But we're gonna try and hit it, boys. Um, probably just tap E, not really hold it, because you lose so much control when you fucking hold E. It's like trying to drive a bumper car that has like a million horsepower. It's like a supercharged Hellcat bumper car. Here we go. Alright, just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. There we are! My god, damn, them Duke boys are at it again! <laughs> them Duke boys are dead again! <laughs> well, my sister Pappy! Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go, yep, yep. This is what happens when you use jets rather than an engine on a vehicle, alright? Just... <laughs> Freaks the fuck out. You have no tire tread left. Whew. Um, what tires do you guys suggest I could get? Or what tires do you think I should get on the, uh, on the Hellcat? I'm thinking Mickey Thompson's or, uh, Michelin Super Sports. I'm not too sure, though. Um, probably, you know, some of you probably know a lot more about tires than I do. Um, Mickey Thompson's are really good. But, uh, Michelin's are, are also really good. And they're, like, you know, they're homemade, basically. They're, they're, well, the ones that are, I would buy here are made in Canada. So that's pretty cool. The Mickey Thompson's wouldn't be there. They'd be American-made, I believe. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, if you did, feel free to let me know with a like or a comment. And, um, I'm just gonna keep fucking spinning out here. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Oh, fuck.